Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan, founder here at Permaslug and Apex Web Solutions. Today I wanted to do another site review video. So the video I posted a few days ago uh, touring a recent membership site I completed was extremely popular. So it's got me stoked on the idea of doing more of these site reviews. Now what I'm gonna focus on for these first couple videos is real client projects of mine. I have a couple cool ones to show you. Um, and then perhaps in the future as I do more client work, we can cover some of those sites. Uh, but also, if you have a site you're really proud of and you want me to showcase it, please send me an email with the link to that website. Give me all the cool features and uh, we'll see if it's a good fit. Perhaps we can do something like this. So anyway, because this has been so popular, we're going to walk through today Hope on the Beach Church, which is a client that came to me early last year, right at the beginning of 2020, and they really needed a site up and refreshed that they could get in and edit and make changes too quickly, and they needed it live before Easter of last year. Now, that was actually a pretty difficult challenge, but we did manage to pull it off. So I wanna show you one particular feature of this site that was a bit of a challenge, and uh, we ultimately did accomplish it, but it wasn't immediately clear how to achieve that. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So at the top of the page, we just have a normal oxygen section. And with that, there is the pro menu element. And we use this just to have kind of the slide in effect on the left hand side, since the menu was going to be really long. As you can see, there's a bunch of links inside of it. Now, of course, on the other side of the page, we just have some basic icons that link to a few destinations across the site. And then for the search, it's just an oxygen modal with a search element that takes you to just a basic search results page. And on that, there's just a repeater to output the results. This button here is going to take you to the locations page. So someone new to the site could find out where they visit with the church. And then as we scroll down here, there's information about it. Again, there's the options for locations. And then here's the recent sermons. So this is what I mentioned uh, was a little bit tricky was us figuring out how to organize their sermons, which also have series. So the sermons are organized into series. And then there's also, of course, the sermons themselves that all need to display a lot of information, which we'll get into in just a little bit. Continuing down the page, we also had another custom post type for events. So there's kind of the graphic view. So these are kind of their big ticket events. And uh, as you can see, there's like a chili cook off and there's lots of other stuff that they do. But also they have the church events themselves under the calendar in the list view. So these are all of their typical kind of worship services and all the different things that go on in the church on a regular basis. And then there's also the list view. And this is actually provided via their back end office system. These are just code blocks and using oxygen tabs up here to display that. And then of course we just have a repeater to pull in the events from the custom post type for events. Continuing down the page, we just have some other content sections. There's nothing really special about that. And then here is their footer that we made. But the cool thing about this site and what I actually wanted to show you is the sermons and how they're organized. So let's actually switch over here to the sermons page. So what you're looking at here is just a standard WordPress page called series. And down here is a code block that we had to manually write the code for these particular sermons to pop up in here. So these are actually organized into a custom taxonomy called series inside of the sermons post type. So that's a little bit confusing, but basically what we needed is three layers to organize this content. So there needed to be the series at the top, which takes you down into the list of sermons. And then you needed to be able to click on a sermon to go inside of that and view the specifics of it. So let's click on the series right here called In God We Trust. And then inside of that, you have all of the sermons inside of that series. And then based on whichever one you want, you should be able to click on that to get more information. So as you can see, once it loads, there's a video at the top, which is their live stream replay. And then if we go down, there's a number of other ACF custom fields for things like the date, then also like to download the notes and the listen card here, as you can see. So those are basically just file upload fields that attach to those buttons. And then of course the connection card, they upload that as well. And then there's just the search, the social share buttons, excuse me, that automatically pull in the current URL that you're on. So this is a bit of an abrupt cut to the back end here because I think it'll make more sense if I give you an opportunity to look at what we have going on in the back end. So basically I have a custom post type created using CPT UI called sermons. And then I registered a custom taxonomy called series. So you can think of the taxonomy as effectively its category, but there's not an easy way in oxygen to display all of your taxonomies. You know, in this case for our series, we have all these right here. There's not a way for you to output a list of those without using a code block. So keep in mind, we needed to have a page that listed all of the series. I needed to be able to click on that series, see all of the sermons inside of it, which of course you can see the post count for that number right here. Then from there on that sermons page, I needed to be able to see all that sermons in that series. And then I needed to be able to click in one more step. But this little peek on the back end hopefully helps you kind of visualize how you could set this up utilizing a custom taxonomy. 
Again, still does require you to use a code block, but that's just the way that you have to do it. That definitely did take a little bit of time to try to figure out. And now another layer of this that we need to introduce and something we're gonna look at in the future is the ability to add filters to this site. So somebody could organize by date. So we need to add the ability for somebody up here to pick their date because as time has gone on, there of course is lots of series here. So people might want one in the past to be able to go replay and look at the content, but right now it'd be kind of difficult to find that. Moving back up into the menu real quick, another thing that we did was convert a bunch of their forms into fillable forms. So if you click that, there's basically a page that we have for online forms. And then inside of that, these all just link to an actual gravity form that we converted from a PDF into a fillable form. This has been super popular for them because it's much easier for them to just direct people to this page. They can fill it out, causes a lot less errors and everything is logged really cleanly, both in the back end of WordPress and of course via their email. Now let me go back to the homepage real quick and let's take another look at that events section. So of course, down here we had this upcoming events with these few different tabs. We also have an actual events page. So you can get to that both from the events tab up here, which is one of their most popular pages. And then also you have the events over here. Coming to this particular page, we didn't want to have to rebuild this element twice. So what you're looking at is basically all of this content here, all the way down, including this bottom line up to this you know, events heading. That's actually just a reusable part. So in Oxygen, instead of editing a particular page and having to do it twice, I just edit that reusable part and it updates both on the home page and here on the events page, which is pretty cool. If we take another look at the menu, let's see if there's anything else interesting on here. The store link that you see there is actually a third party store. So it's not WooCommerce, it's connecting to an external store. So we'll skip over that for now. The gallery page, I don't think has much on it at the moment, but this is just a simple ACF gallery so they can add photos to it. Again, we're gonna add filters in the future for some of their common events so that we can easily organize that stuff and let people see exactly what they're after. Just to show you what the search looks like, let's go ahead and just search the word like trust or something. And like I said, this search results page is super simple, but it's going to take us to that sermon, you know, with the word trust in it. This whole thing is a link, so we can just simply click that and it takes us right to that particular sermon page. So the next thing I wanna show you is the worship experiences. So this is basically all of their locations that are available at the current time considering COVID. Pretty cool with their theme of being Hope on the Beach Church. They of course can go outside and do sermons on the beach. What you're looking at there is the area that I live in Destin. So if you guys are admiring that picture, this is where they're hosting church services on the beach, which is pretty neat. So if I scroll down here, you can see this is just basically a repeater list that's displaying a custom post type in that they just add all of their locations and Christmas Eve is a little bit out of date. So perhaps they need to get rid of that. But in terms of the other options here, you can see all of their different available locations. And some of this is pulling in advanced custom fields. So of course, there's the post title and then there's an ACF field for the start time. There's an ACF field for address, which is actually used in two different places. So it's this, you know, displaying text right there and then also viewing on Google Maps. So that's gonna take you to the Google Maps link, which is nice. And then they go ahead and input the link to their Facebook Live replay and their live session. So that pops up there, which is awesome. Then uh, this is just the basic description that goes in the WP content editor. And uh, again, it's just a repeater to display all of those different options. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that involve custom post types and advanced custom fields. And for the most part, none of this required any custom coding except that series taxonomy field. But the benefit to the client is exactly what I mentioned earlier is they need to be able to go in there and edit all of that stuff. And they didn't wanna to have to wait on their web designer. They had a bad experience in the past, just like everybody, where that person stopped picking up the phone. They were no longer able to update their own website, which is why we went this route it definitely was more costly for us to build this because it just took more time to set it up. But now the benefit is they have almost complete autonomy. There's only a few things that they need my help with, which is you know building new pages out or things like that that would require a bit of extra time. But overall, I was pretty excited with this website just because of the flexibility that it gives the client and they can achieve pretty much everything without having to get into oxygen. So once again, I hope you enjoyed this site tour. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you wanna see more, definitely let me know. And also if you have a site you'd like to showcase, please feel free to share it with me. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in a future video.